What's up, guys? My name is Roberto, and I help spiritually minded entrepreneurs take authority over their health and wealth by helping them activate their most powerful asset, which is their mind. In this series of videos that I created, I created something that a lot of people struggle with the ideas they have, whether it's a book, a course, a business idea, or something that they want to start, and how to get that idea from here to actually seeing it in person. So I created these videos with the hope and in efforts that it would help somebody get their idea and actually watching it come into being. Is it a perfect uh, formula? No. Is it? Does it have everything that you need? No. But it's got the simple stuff, the foundation, and things that where you can start if you don't know where to start, if you don't know where to go. So if this is the first time that you stumbled upon my videos, welcome. I don't take your focus for granted. I, uh, I uh, hope that you get something out of these videos. However, if you just found my videos, I would suggest you go and back go, go back to part one because each video that I have builds on top of the next one. So the things that I talked about, how to get an idea and watching it into a physical form, uh, the first time, the first thing that we talked about was getting rid of scarcity and poverty thinking. The second one was, um, oh, so the, one of the things with that is getting rid, getting rid of scarcity and poverty thinking. It's so important because no matter what you do, whether it's writing a book, a course, or starting a business, you're going to want to get rid of that because if you don't, you're going to sabotage yourself and your earning potential if you have a scarcity mentality. And if you have a scarcity mentality, well, then it's going to be really hard for you to succeed or go to the next level, okay? So the other things that we talked about, we talked about accountability, we talked about uh, company formation, we talked about uh, increasing your financial literacy, basically becoming smarter with money. We also talked about product creation, basically creating your product, and then I created several videos. One, if you wanna, if you wanna start a book, if you wanna start a course, if you wanna start a brick and mortar business, or if you want, if you have a, a service style business like a general contractor, I, I'm not just saying all this stuff because I'm saying it. I have had personal experience with each one of those. Uh, the first e book or ebook that I that I wrote that I did, I, I did it in less than a week, and it was an idea that I have had. And then I followed the the ideas that I share in that video, and I did it in a week. And out of that video, I then created a whole course, which is a 12 month curriculum. And out of that course and that curriculum, I started a, an entire coaching company. And so, so the, I, some of the, like another thing is this, this coffee shop that we're in right now, it was just an, it was just a desire. I just had a desire to have a coffee shop and I didn't have the money. I didn't have the ability to do it, but because I had a desire, then Somehow, some way, eventually, the opportunity came for me to be able to open up this, uh, this um, type of business. Now, the service style business, that's just something that I stumbled upon. Not necessarily something, something that I stumbled upon, but something that I was brought into because my dad started a, a remodeling company. So the reason why I got involved through service business was because of his remodeling company. And after... Uh, because uh, he put me as the owner in the company, me and my sister. I learned how to do some of the back end stuff for that service company. How to, I learned how to do some of the taxes for it, how to do the books, and, and how to basically be able to manage a company like that. And, and it's not hard, but it does take some work. So uh, I, I owe that experience to my dad because had it not been for him, I would not have been exposed to that type of business. And that actually helped me gain some experience to some general contracting gigs that I got myself. Some of them were great, some of them were horrible. So hopefully you can take some of that information that I've talked about in all those previous videos and then do something with it. That's the most important thing. Like you just wanna do something with it. Don't just watch the video, like watch the video once, then watch it again and take some notes and then maybe watch it again and actually do it. Because otherwise it's just gonna be a dream like it's been. So you, you want to actually make something happen. So let's make it happen. So in this video, I want to focus uh, on continual client onboarding. What I mean by that is anytime, it's kind of like whenever you get married, 
whenever you get married, you, you used to like talk to your wife um, as a whenever you would date. You, you would do all these things to try and get her attention and woo her, right? But then the moment you got married, you stop dating her. And I've fallen in that mis in that mistake before where you stop dating your spouse. Well, it's the same thing in business. Once you've acquired a company, a, a client, they are there because they trust you. They're there because they trust you and they believe in the product that you have. So now your job is not to say, well, I've got them now. Now your job is to say, how do I deliver? Not just how much value I said I was going to deliver to them, but how do I deliver more than enough value? And how do I keep on selling them on the idea that they should stay as a continual client of mine? So continual onboarding when it comes to your clients is crucial. I, again, have made some mistakes in the past with this where I had quite a bit of clients. But because once I had them, I fell in the, in the uh, lie that because I had them, I just basically had to just rely on the on the fact that they were already clients and because they were already clients then that's it i don't have to do anything else that was stupid that was dumb so one of the things that you want to do is keep on onboarding your clients even if it's somebody that just did service with you once you can still follow up with them hey how are you doing how are you liking the bathroom that we redid awesome i hope you're liking it hey if there's anything else that you need done in your house just wanted to make sure that i stayed in front of you uh, we're, we're, we're always looking to do more stuff. So if you, or you know, anyone that, that wants to, or needs any business of like what I do, then please consider me. Or if it's a book, somebody, somebody bought a book from you. Hey, thank you so much for buying for the book that you bought from me. If you have their information, their email or something like that, I would love to hear what this book did for you. Could you please write a quick review or testimonial for me? Could you please do a, a test, a, a video or, hey, how can I help you understand some of the things that maybe you didn't fully understand in the video? Like begin to create a culture, a group or a community within your business, because if you don't, then there's so much information and so much marketing out there by other companies that the, the one that gets the attention gets the client. You want to be the one that gets your guys, your, your client's attention. So you want to keep on onboarding them. What I mean by that is you want to keep on basically selling them over and over again without being salesy. What I mean by that is just simply providing continual service, continual value so that they want to keep on staying with you. Can you imagine if you developed a business that has a hundred percent retention rate? What if you figured out a way that a way for you to have clients that come to you, they pay you, you give them value. And then you reward them with some type of referral bonus that takes care of whatever it is that they're paying you. So essentially, the referrals are paying for their service. That's one of the things that I created in my coaching company, where I basically, would you bring two people to me in the coaching community, and it pretty much pays for your program. Not once, but on an ongoing monthly basis. So that's one of the, those are some of the things that you want to do. You want to become resourceful. And you want to get creative because why God created you in his image and likeness. That means that you have the ability to create things. You have so much creativity that sometimes you don't even think about. So hopefully this video helped. Hopefully all of these videos that I did helped you. Now in the next few videos, I'm going to focus on the type of mindset you need to have because here's the, here's the truth of the matter. Creating something, getting something going, registering your company, all of those things. They're good. I mean, and, and I mean, they're honestly easy. What I'm about, what I'm about to talk about next is the hard part because how to get it to a point where it's actually producing something for you and your family. It's, it may be the most, maybe a little bit more difficult, especially if you went full, like full time self employed and you basically have to depend on this business making it. Or you either have to go back and take a job or come up with some other avenue for you to be able to provide for your family. So hopefully this helped. If you, if you just watched this video and haven't watched the other ones, go back to the first one, part one, part two, watch all of them, and I'll see you on the next one, okay? Let's make it happen.